Did you know that posting your stories the wrong way on Instagram could be the thing that's destroying the amount of views that you're getting? Or maybe you didn't know that choosing the right sound or choosing the right hashtags could also be destroying your views. But those two things are small stakes compared to the other five changes I'm gonna share with you that you need to make sure that you're implementing right now on Instagram. Because if you don't implement these changes, you're gonna be using outdated Instagram tactics. And all this is gonna do is slow down the amount of reach that you're getting and slow down how quick you're following during, quite frankly, the easiest time ever to grow on Instagram. And that would be one of the biggest mistakes you could possibly make right now. And if you wanna skyrocket the amount of growth that you're getting right now on Instagram, you need to make sure that you're not making these mistakes. In fact, this creator just changed from making these mistakes to stopping making these mistakes and literally was able to gain over 100,000 followers on Instagram in just a 30 day period. And the same thing could happen to you if you implement these tips. Error number one is you need to make sure that you're not just using sounds on Instagram simply because they're trending. This is one of the biggest mistakes that I see small Instagram accounts make and you need to understand how Instagram actually uses sounds in order to determine whether or not your post is trending. You see, if you use a trending sound on Instagram, that's not the only thing that Instagram is actually looking at. In addition to that, they wanna look at your actual post and see if it looks like the other content that they were pushing out under their sound because if it doesn't, well, guess what's gonna happen? You're not gonna get the views or benefit from that trending sound and you probably should have chosen another sound. So instead, what you need to make sure you're doing before you use a sound on Instagram, you need to click into it, see what the posts under there look like. And if those posts aren't the same format as your post or on the same topic as your post, well, guess what? You're probably not gonna benefit from using this trending sound and it could actually lead to a decrease in the amount of views that you're getting. So all you need to make sure you're doing is using the right sounds. But that's not the only thing you need to do. We also need to make sure that you're prioritizing the right type of engagement on your posts on Instagram because gone are the days of you trying to get people to like your content or trying to get people to save your content. In fact, if you're still doing those two things, it's going to lead to a decrease in the amount of reach that you're getting and the amount of views and followers that you're receiving. And all you have to do is adapt to the new type of engagement that Instagram likes, but there are a few of them. The first one is going to be people sharing your content. You need to get 50 to 75% of people watching your content to share it. If you're able to do this, it's going to lead to your post going viral and you're probably thinking right now, Rob, that sounds impossible to do, but I actually have a tool for you that's going to make it a hundred times easier. And the easiest way for you to do this and to 5x the amount of engagement that you're currently getting on your content is using today's video sponsor, ManyChat. ManyChat allows you to set a story mention reply, which is basically allowing your audience to share your piece of content and in exchange, you're gonna incentivize them. For example, you could give them a freebie, you could send them a free download, you could even give them a discount on something. And this is not only gonna help you get more leads for your business, but it's also going to skyrocket the amount of engagement and the, the amount of reach that you're getting. So if you wanna start incentivizing your audience to begin sharing your content out to their followers also, you need to make sure that you go to the pinned comment below and sign up for ManyChat for free or get a 30-day free trial of ManyChat Pro. This creator just used his strategy and was able to get over 497 people to share her piece of content and she was able to collect 445 leads from this. But the best part about it was the post was able to get hundreds of thousands of views simply because so many people shared it. And that would have never happened without the help of ManyChat. If you want a 5X the amount of engagement that you're getting and be able to incentivize your audience to actually share your content, you need to make sure that you're using ManyChat. Best of all, ManyChat is a meta-approved partner, so you don't have to worry about Instagram not liking that you're using ManyChat or being worried that the engagement that you're getting isn't real. In fact, it's gonna come from your real followers, your real audience, and it's gonna incentivize them to find more people that like your content. What are you waiting for? If you want a five times the amount of engagement that you're getting right now, go to the pinned comment below and sign up for ManyChat right now for free. But we can't stop there because I bet you're probably using banned hashtags or just using hashtags wrong on Instagram right now. And there are four things you need to make sure that you're not using. First and foremost, you need to make sure that you're not using banned hashtags. If you wanna know what banned hashtags are, simply go and do a Google search for banned hashtags on Instagram. You're gonna to find tons of different tools where if you insert your hashtags, it'll tell you whether or not your hashtags are banned. And in addition to that, it'll give you several other hashtags that you should be using if they do happen to be banned or if there are better hashtags that you should be using. Using. The second thing you need to make sure that you're doing is sticking to using three to four hashtags ideally. The majority of posts that are going viral on Instagram right now include three to four hashtags that are incredibly relevant to that post. And this brings me to the third thing, which is that your hashtags need to be relevant and they need to be large. You should not be using irrelevant hashtags because if you don't understand how hashtags actually work, here's how they work. You put hashtags on Instagram and Instagram is gonna help use those hashtags to identify the ideal audience that should be seeing your content. So if those hashtags 
hashtags are irrelevant to the post or aren't very large, it's not gonna help Instagram figure out who they should be showing your content to. And then as a result of that, the engagement that you get is going to be much lower because the people that get shown your content aren't actually gonna be the people that are interested in your content and boom, simply using the wrong hashtags could be the thing that's destroying your views. Or it might be the two other mistakes that I'm gonna share with you that I see small creators do all too often and I bet you're probably making one of these two mistakes. And that first thing is that you're probably not paying close enough attention to the actual topic that you're choosing for your content on Instagram, because you need to understand something. How many views you get is directly correlated not only to the quality of the video, the hashtags, the sound that you're choosing, the amount of engagement that you're getting, but also it has a lot to do with whether or not there's a huge audience potential for that post. For example, you could create an ideal piece of content, but if the audience size is only 100,000 people versus a topic that has 2 million people, guess what? That second topic, you'll get 20 times the amount of views. So think about that. How many views you're getting on Instagram compared to your competitors or compared to somebody else might simply just be that you didn't choose the right topic. And if you want Instagram to know the ideal topic that you're going after, you need to make sure that you're saying it within your content, you have it as text on the screen within your content, you have it in your hashtags, and you have it in your description because those are the four places Instagram is gonna be looking to determine who they should be pushing your content to. And again, if they come back and say the audience size wasn't big enough, you could have made an amazing video, but it's not gonna get any views. So the three main things that you need to make sure that you're paying attention to when it comes to the topic is one, the recency of the topic. Two, how many posts have been made under that topic on Instagram? And three, whether or not those posts are still getting views today because you might look at a topic and it might look like it would do well. For example, if you were to look at a Halloween post, but obviously that's outdated because we're now two weeks past Halloween and if you were to create content like that, it wouldn't get views, even though on Instagram, it looks like it's still getting views. So you need to make sure that you're going after topics that are not only getting a lot of views, but also are recent because if they're not recent enough, it's gonna destroy your reach. In fact, you could even create a worse video, but if the topic is bigger, well, guess what? You're gonna get a lot of views, so it could simply just be that you're choosing the right topic right now, or you might be messing up this last thing, which is by far the most important. And that is that you're not making outdated content on Instagram. And there are two ways for you to ensure this. One, I would be making carousel posts, and two, I would be uploading reels. Those are the only two types of posts that I would be posting right now on Instagram. Because if you're doing anything else, like uploading photos or uploading carousels that aren't just a meme or an infographic and a video, it's probably the reason you're seeing a decrease in the amount of reach that you're getting. Or you might be posting at the wrong time, which is exactly why I created this video right here. And if you wanna know the best time to post on Instagram, go check it out.